Hey guys, how's it going? My name is RGJ Runner, and welcome to my Let's Play of the Morrigan Kickstarter Alpha. Now, what the developer is looking for this is 15 grand, and it's a Unity engine based game, and not a lot of Unity based games are worth 15 grand. And considering that this is still in alpha with nothing really much to show for it as of yet, I, I read through the. Oh, sorry, excuse me, my nose itches. Uh, I read through the, through the description a small bit and his bio. He's, he said that he's very passionate about uh, game development, that he's been studying it for about seven years. But really, I don't think it's the best of ideas to go and uh, look for 15 grand for. For a Unity engine based game that's still in alpha. I mean, who knows? Maybe I am just biased against Unity engine based games. But, uh, I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll try it out. I'll, I'll try it out. I mean, there wasn't much of a background to this. I mean, here's hoping for a good scare. Even if I do get a good scare, uh, it still probably won't be a 15 grand scare. I can only hope that you can. So listen up. When you emerge, Go down the flight of stairs, and straight in front of you there will be a door that leads to the courtyard. Now inside of the bushes, I hid a radio transponder. Pick it up and talk to me, and I'll give you further instructions on how to get out of here alive. Okay, Aiden, I gotta get going. The professor's coming. Oh, I've got hands now. And uh seem to be coming out of an elevator? No? What the hell am I coming out of? Um the am I coming out of the closet? <laughs> Cheesy pun. No, I'm I'm not coming Oh I guess I'm a zombie named Aiden. Okay, just, I'll, I'll call myself Aiden the Zombie now. How do I get out of here? Left click? No? E? E? Oh, it's the E button. Okay, no. The left click button is too mainstream. I totally forgot about that. A lot of these textures look familiar. So I'd say a lot of them are stuck as it's... Oh, got stuck on the corner there. And my game is a bit jittery for some reason. Guess it do doesn't handle it in ATP that well. No, oh, no, it seems to be fine now. Right, no, it's still a small bit jittery, but oh well. We'll just have to deal. Go check out this area first. Still waiting on the Oogie Boogies. Notice, this elevator is for freight only, not for passengers. Screw you. No. Okay, can't go down. And what do we have here? Hello? Yes. Come in, Jonathan. That's it. Let yourself right in. Or is that the naughty professor that I have to probably avoid? Okay, are those sounds just there for the sake of being there, or is something actually going to come and bite my ass? No? Ooh, zoom. Look at that zoom. Got a lot of zooming in action going on here, and what the hell is this? Can I pick it up? Yeah. I have no idea what it is. Well, it must be some fine art of some description. Okay, so I guess that room held a whole pile of nothing. Whoa, that door is very, very bassy. And my mouth seems to be sticking for some reason. Do not know why. Uh oh. Okay, who's ever the janitor here? He. He's obviously getting paid way too much or way too little. 
You look, the rat infestation is terrible. Just absolutely terrible. Wait, hold on. Before I go out there, can I go out here? Oh, yay. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is a courtyard and I'm supposed to pick up a thingy. Is this a thingy I'm supposed to pick up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent, Hayden. Okay, listen up. There's four floors to this building. At the very bottom, there's a sewer system. That's your escape. Now, all the power has been shut down besides the emergency generators on each uh -huh. floor. Mm -hmm. You'll have to activate them to get the elevators mm -hmm. to work. Oh, is this it? Once activated, activated, take the elevator to go to the next section and repeat the process till you get to the sewer systems. All right. I'll be waiting for you in the very bottom floor. Good luck. Oh, luck. and one more thing, Hayden. If you hear anyone, just hide. Screw you, I'll do what I want. Okay, so far no scares. Come on, game dev. I was expecting a little bit more than this. Wait, hold on. There's something funky going on with my hands. Oh. Well, I suppose it's natural I'm a zombie, so obviously I should break out into the thriller dance. Cause it's thriller. Thriller night. Okay, I'll stop that now. Because I'm very bad at singing. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, this is this is from the trailer. Okay, is something spooky going to happen? Is there some scary ogre boogers? No, something I should pick up here? Absolutely not. But I am confused as to why there's a toilet here. I don't know, maybe in case the doctor need need to take a quick quiz or a quick poop. I don't know, it doesn't seem very hygienic, but who am I to question it? Okay, down to the nightmares we go. Oh no, a haunted chair, whatever shall I do? Now, is there going to be a creepy monster to go along with this chair? Is there? No? No monsters, no nothing. And why the hell ha am I so short? Okay, am I short or is everything just way too big? Like these doors. Hmm. Very. Still very, very basic. Don't know why. Base, base. Guess we're all about the base. About the base. No trouble. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go down to the darkness first. Because, you know, that's... That's where all the scares are. Oh, I remember you, Cheer. You're in the trailer as well. Remember me? No, I didn't think so. Am I supposed to be tortured on this chair or something? Because it, it seems like the kind of chair I'd be tortured on, or I'd like to be tortured on. And where the hell is the, where the hell is the light coming from? I see no light source. I don't know. Maybe there's a hidden LED built into that chair, I'm not sure. Maybe this machine will have the answers. Do not activate. Screw you! I'll, I'll fucking activate you if I want. You're not the boss of me. Oh god. I did something very silly, didn't I? Uh oh. <gasps> Support us on Kickstarter. Oh my god, self-advertisement. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh my god, it's everywhere. No, no, that has got to be the scariest thing by far I, I've ever seen. Oh no. The self-advertisement is real. It's too real, in fact. Way too real. So what now? Can I progress? No. Okay. I don't think there's anything in the darkness here, is there? Nope. Okay. Guess we're going into the bathroom. And I see something glowing. Oh, hello. Looks like a pregnancy test, but also looks like a key because it's got two jagged bits. 
it's checking out. So I'll just take that, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! Hey, Mr. Grabby Hands, watch it. Frickin' toilet perv. Fucking watching you, boy. Uh oh. I hear creaking. Is that creaking just random noises? Or is it actually a person or a thingy or a monster? You know? Okay, it was nothing. Nothing that I know of, or nothing that I can see. And seriously, what the hell? Why am I so small? And oh, hello, what's this? Hmm. Is that senior game development and his missus? I think it is. Of course it is. I guess that's supposed to be some sort of Easter egg, maybe. Either that, or I just found the picture on Google Images and threw it in there for shits and giggles. Alright, okay, making progress. Slowly but surely. Sh and speaking of surely, surely there will be some scares in here. The red light of danger, always a good sign. Always a good sign, come on. Redeem yourself. You can scare me. I'm easily scared. Kind of. You know, I was expecting something to pop up behind me and go blah, 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 blah. But, no, that wasn't the case. Oh, come on, there's gotta be some scares around here. There's gotta be ooger boogers. Maybe there's something waking in the darkness. I'll just back my ass into it, and hopefully something will poke me into the butt. Um... Okay, there's nothing there. And my game is getting, getting a bit of the uh, frame rate stutters, don't know why. <sighs> okay, come on, you can still redeem yourself. There's plenty of time. I mean, is there something scary in here? I'm expecting something scary to jump out at any moment. Maybe from here? Open door? You're gonna, is there going to be something scary that's going to jump out and go oogie boogie? Boogie oogie? No. Okay. Come on, third time's the charm. Okay, come on, come on game dev. I believe in you. You can still scare the living pants off me. Come on. Don't, don't let let this be a disappointment. Oh no! Scary bloody teddy rabbits. Actually, kind of remind me of uh, Robbie the Rabbit from Silent Hill 3. Except, uh, not as big. And Robbie the Rabbit was white. White supremacy for the win! No, just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, surely something crazy is going to happen. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. Something, something's going to happen. Yay! Yeah! Hey there, sugar tits. What? Okay, I did. I do think I saw something creepy above there. Oh well. I'll edit that. Or I'll uh, do a fucking screen cap of that while I'm editing it. Hmm. This is very, very reminiscent of Black Rose, another Unity engine based horror game. And you know what? That even made it onto Steam. However, however, it's still free, despite being on Game Jolt as well. Now I'm talking about Black Rose, the expansion. 
and if you haven't seen played that game already or see me play it I recommend you check it out immediately because that game scared the living piss out of me yeah I'm not dissing unity engine the unity engine at all it can be a great 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 asset when it's used correctly but a lot of these seem a lot of the textures and objects and items they seem to be stock so I don't know why the hell why the hell Mr. Game Dev was looking for 15 grand maybe if you give me a 15 grand heart attack I mean, who knows you, you might end up getting there hey Mr. Gravy Hands come back here where the fuck you go You better be dead. But all of you fucking bodies better be dead. You're, supp you're supposed to be dead bodies, not some bodies or alive bodies. Dead bodies, you hear me? Dead! Alrighty, who? Oh, skulls. Spooky, scary skeletons. They're not gonna jump up and uh, do the oogie boogie. Or clatter the seat together like. Ha, na, 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 na. No? Okay. Now come on. This could have been the perfect opportunity to scare me. Instead you did the whole grabby hand routine again. I mean that shit only works once and even and even when it when it when I did teach the first time it wasn't that scary. Creepy, yes. Scary, no. Not so much. Hmm, you know, I don't even really need this. Flashlight. Okay, for a second there I thought those weren't my footsteps. Yeah, and anyway, a lot of this is very reminiscent of the textures and whatnot in, in Black Rose. Again with the rats. Are they dead or what? Hey, buddy, you alive there? No? Dead? Yep, dead as a doornail. Okay, so we got a red light here, and we got a yellow terminal, so... What does the yellow terminal mean? I wouldn't even understand how the hell these things would begin to work, considering they look beat up to fuck. Okay. That one doesn't work. Either that or it's glitched out. Okay, I hear whispering. Is that actually something? Nah, no, it's probably nothing. Probably. And again, you have plenty of opportunities to scare me here. I mean, look at this enclosed space. I mean, this is screaming nightmares. This is screaming fucking jump scares. But I'm not seeing a, a thing. Uh oh. Oh, are things getting spooky? Are things getting a wee bit spooky? No? Oh, come on. Don't let me down. Don't go break my heart. No. To go break, break my achy breaky heart. I just don't take it or understand. Cause if you took my heart, my achy breaky heart, I might grow up and come a man. Ah. Nothing. Really. Really. Oh. I like the way I can just glide up these steps without making a sound. I must be a step ninja. Wait, hold on. Wait, what on earth? Okay, so I can... I can walk... I can walk down, make a noise, but I can't walk up. Or do, uh, what the hell? I mean, when I walk, when I walk down, 
I hear my foot. I hear my footsteps on the steps when I walk down. Nothing. I'm sorry. When I wait, yeah. When I walk down, I hear my footsteps on the stairs. But when I walk up, it's like I'm gliding. Gliding on thin air. Hmm. Okay, I'll let that slide. <laughs> Cheesy pun, because you know, uh, it was like I was sliding up the steps. Eh, yeah, no, I'm bad at these puns, so I'll stop now. A money digger digging a bigger hole for myself. Oh, that's cool. That's actually quite impressive. Nice lighting and shadow effects. Now, if only you could scare me. There is still plenty of time to redeem yourself, Mr. Game Dev. Mr. Joe Jonas, Mr. Thomas, whatever your name is, I forget. I will include your name and your Kickstarter page and the link to the game in the description, of course. Sorry, I'm just not good with names. <sighs> right, I'm still waiting for that scare. Wait, hold on, hold on. Whoops. There was a machine back here. Forgot to press the button. Okay, yeah, that's still broke. Monsters? Nightmares? Anyone? Alright then. Hmm. <sighs> My hope for a good scare is fading fast. I mean, plenty of opportunities down here. But no. Oh. Okay, that monster is not a custom monster. It's it's stuck. I've seen it before. I've seen it in another Unity horror game before. Uh, is that going to be the only jump scare? Is that going to be it, really? Come on, no. No, 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 no. Surely there's got to be one more. Come on. You've got one more chance. One more chance. Let's make it a good one. Hello? Mr. Mrs. Sexy Legs. Where did he go? Oh, hi. Uh-oh. Oh my god, can that thing run? Ooh. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Oh my god, but that... Okay, fine, fine. Oh boy, that was actually kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. Not that creepy. I'm assuming it's disappearing now. Yeah, you, you run away. You run away. Oh my god. Doodles. Oh boy. Well, that monster is still as creepy as ever. But not the scare I was hoping for. We walk with love for our country. Uh, to what? To honor our grannies and sons. We oh, it's a credit, so it's over? To the will I can still move. The people be done. We walk with love for our country. To honor our grannies and sons. We walk for an end to corruption. To the will of the people be done. 
We walk with love for our country to honor our grannies and sons. We walk for an end to corruption to the will of the people be done. Okay. Well, that was... something else. So whatever the hell that sound was, it was kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. I mean, the way the way they, they harmonized it was very off-putting. Good job on that. But what's going to happen here? I can see a chair in the distance. Can I use my flashlight? No, that has seemed to disappear. I think that may have gone up my bunghole for some reason. Uh, let me guess. It's gonna be a cheap jump scare. You just watch. This chair's gonna randomly implode or explode or do something crazy. Oh no, it's haunted! Oh no, there's hands! Huh. Well, um, that ending was something else. I don't know what, what what the hell was with the floating chair. I honestly don't know what the hell was with this game. The only the only thing that I got about this game was the title, the morgue. You're you're in the morgue. You have to escape it because apparently there's all evil shit going down and very spooky things afoot. Other than that, there's no background to it. Oh god, I turned this down a bit. I can barely hear myself talk. Well, overall, um... I... Guess it's okay... For a start. But, for the life of me, I don't know why you have it up on, on Kickstarter for, uh, well, and asking for 15 grand to go towards it's development uh, it's development I mean, most unity games or most indie unity games they're normally free and they are normally not that great I mean the, I'd say the best indie indie horror game unity engine based game I've ever played was Black Rose and a lot of the monsters, well there's only two monsters in that fucking Jeff and Myra or f whatever the characters names were I, I I totally forget her, whatever the mo monsters names were, I, I, I forget them but they were custom I think and they were as creepy as all fuck just trying to think, what was, what was the name of the new monster in it uh, um, Damn it, I, I, I forget. Oh, Sullivan James, yeah. Yeah, because um, when the developer came out with Black Rose, the, the, expansion, uh, the expansion, he kind of fluffed it out with a bit of a background story and added in this monster called Sullivan James, apparently. He, he was the lover of the woman lady, ghosty goo monster, whatever her name was, Gloria Mary. Claire, I don't, uh, I, don't, I don't know, but uh, either, either, uh, either, 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 either way, the point being about Black Rose, that was kind of well fleshed out, but even though it was well fleshed out, it was still free, even though he eventually went to put it up on Steam, where it was also hosted for free, or, or also made free to play, but uh, from what I could see, despite your seven years of experience, it, it doesn't really show, or sorry, your seven years of uh, learning about game development, it doesn't really show in this, because I mean, most of, most of the things I saw, most of the assets were stock, so you're, I guess you're just messing about with those, but I guess A, A for effort, I mean, it wasn't 
wasn't terrible. It, it wasn't great either. I mean, give him, give him that. Still, alpha, alpha 1.3, whatever 1.3 is supposed to be. Whether it's a 1.2 or 1.1 or a 1.0, just don't be adding a 1.3 to make it look fancy because it. This looks like an alpha 1.0. In my opinion, but either way, it ain't for effort. I won't completely <laughs> rip this game a new one. But either way, before I ramble on even more, I will end it here. So, guys, you know what to do if you like this video, be sure to give it a, a thumbs up, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. So, until next time, see ya.